Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, and in today's video, we're going to be going over some comments recently made by Greg Nicotero about the similarities with Daryl Dixon to The Last of Us TV series. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a video today, this one's going to be doing a video for The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, and in today's video we're going to be going over an interview by Greg Nicotero, um, this one is in regards to the Daryl Dixon Walking Dead series. Which, of course, a uh, heads up to everybody that is uh, watching this video. In about a week's time from tomorrow, you will be able to stream the first episode of Daryl Dixon on AMC+. Plus. Uh, so, that's going to be a lot of fun. Very excited to see Daryl Dixon. I'm excited to see what the series has to uh, offer for us. Um, but in terms of this interview, let's get into this. So, um, Greg Nicotero was asked about the similarities to The Last of Us and Daryl Dixon, which we've discussed before. Um, there are a lot of similarities when it comes to the overarching plot between Daryl Daryl Dixon and, um, you know, uh, The Last of Us. And I remember a lot of people back when I did a video on it, because I did a video on it a few days, or a few weeks ago, sorry. Um, a lot of people called me insane. They were just like, Dan, you're crazy. Like, it's not anything to, like, The Last of Us. And I'm like, well, guys, you haven't seen the show yet. You can't really say that. Um, but I think now it's objective that that video made sense, because literally Greg Nicotero, the director himself, um, is acknowledging that they sound very uh, similar, right? So I don't think I was wrong to make that video at all. Um, a lot of people are saying, like, like, you're accusing it too fast, Dan. Well, obviously I'm not, because Greg Nicotero is already uh, talking about it. He's already acknowledging that this is something that's going on. Um, but um, let's go into his comments. Let's go into what he said, and then we'll kind of give our thoughts afterwards. Greg Nicotero talks about similarities between Daryl Dixon and The Last of Us series. Daryl Dixon's story will sound a little familiar, Nicotero says. I remember watching the opening of The Last of Us, and I noticed it. Nicotero confirms that he couldn't do much to change the story. We were already in the midst of filming our series when The Last of Us started showing. The director didn't hide his appreciation for the other series. I enjoyed The Last of Us immensely. Despite the similarity in the story, there is a difference in the details. This continuation of Daryl Dixon's story, he has a mission to deliver a child that is not his only goal. Daryl wants to return home to Carol, Judith, and his family in the Commonwealth. I think the first idea of Daryl and the Child Lohan is similar to The Last of Us, but once you follow the rest of the episodes, it doesn't seem quite the same. They are different series that you can both enjoy. Okay, so basically, in a short way to kind of sum it up here, it sounds like Greg Nicotero is saying that he is aware that the plot is very similar, right? He's, he's aware of that. Um, and it sounds like they had this idea before the Last of Us TV series actually aired. And by the time they filmed it, and by the time they did it, it was kind of too late, and the Last of Us show was airing already, so they couldn't really do anything about it. Now, he does acknowledge that he en enjoys the Last of Us TV series. He's en he enjoys what they did with it, um, but he does recognize that it is very similar. Although, in the final paragraph, he says that apparently the story does start off similar, and there's nothing that they could really do to change it, but towards the end of the series and towards the end of the first season, uh, you're going to notice that it's actually still very different in their own kind of way. Um, and there are, you know, some differences in the series at the same time, right? So I like that Greg Nicotero acknowledged this because I think it's the biggest, you know, obvious elephant in the room when you see the trailer and when you see the promotional material and you hear the information about this show, um, a middle-aged man getting a kid somewhere that, you know, could help save the future and revive the, the humanity and all that, like they say, yeah, that's Last of Us right there. I, that is very much Last of Us. Um, and then you got the grumpy middle-aged guy that doesn't want to do it, but then over time, he grows a bond with the kid and stuff like that. It, it really is Last of Us. It really is. And the thing is, Greg Nicotero is not denying this, you know what I mean? And, and that's why I wanted to kind of acknowledge this, is that for anybody that was saying that, you know, it, it's a crazy thing to assume, and that, you know, you're wrong, and The Last of Us and Daryl Dixon are very different, well, clearly they're not. Um, it sounds like Greg Nicotero is aware of this, and then as you go throughout the series, there will be some changes, and it will be different. But it does start off a lot like it, and unfortunately, there's, they just couldn't change that, you know what I mean? So... What are you going to do, right? Uh, it's it's very interesting. It's a very, uh, you know, complicated situation for Daryl Dixon. I just hope the story's good. You know what I mean? That's all I hope for. I, you know, I'm kind of... With the whole rip-off Last of Us thing, look, I, I, I will say it's not going to make it as exciting 
um, as, you know, something like Dead City for me, just because Dead City had an original plot. Um, Daryl Dixon is kind of, you know, kind of has a similar plot to something we've already seen, which again, it's not their fault, you know, uh, they didn't really know until, you know, it happened, but at the same time, I mean, give him a better plot, you know what I mean? It's not that hard. Um, if the entire plot is just him trying to get this kid to whatever, it, I mean, you know, that's fine, but, um, it's definitely, it is very Last of Us. It's it's definitely very Last of Us. It's definitely a lot, um, you know, a lot, a lot like it. You know what I mean? And I think that's something to be acknowledged. And now that Greg Nicotero has acknowledged it, I figured, yeah, honestly, um, it's a good idea to cover this for a video. But anyway, let me know in the comment section below. Are you excited for Daryl Dixon? I'm still very excited for it, despite some of the. Um, you know, the similarities to it, to uh, The Last of Us. I'm still very curious to see what the show has to offer. I'm still very curious to see what we have for it. Um, and I think it should be uh, really exciting. You know, it should be uh, really exciting once the show comes out. It'll be in about a week from now. You guys will be able to stream it. And we'll be doing our reviews in about a week from now. So, very excited to do all that. But uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. And of course, if you knew the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos of The Walking Dead. Daryl Dixon, make sure to follow me at Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos for Daryl Dixon and enjoy the rest of the day guys and peace out.